You're listening to Sunny Side Up with Adam and Kim, only on CJLO 1690 AM. Diane Sawyer has been getting a lot of attention from her interview with President Barack Obama last night. While Diane greeted the president with a handshake, Obama leaned forward for a kiss on the cheek. So is it inappropriate, or is this just plain old school approach to greeting women? Is a, ki- is a kiss on the cheek too much? I don't think so. No? You do? It was a bit much. It really? was a, yeah. You know, I think people are making a bigger deal out of this than anything. Yeah. I mean, he just leaned in for a kiss. But then I was thinking... <laughs> He he didn't lean in for a kiss when he greets Hillary, or he, he, he I if I don't think if it was Barbara Walters he'd lean in for a kiss. Diane Diane Sawyer is an attractive lady, and even if even if he did do it for every woman, is that is that antiquated? Should we be kissing women that are professional women that aren't your immediate family? Like if you're going for an interview, Kim, you're a journalist. <laughs> if you're going for an interview and someone greets you, you greet them with a handshake and they lean in for a kiss. Yeah, but that's. That's, I'm, that's different. Is it different because he's in a position of authority? Yes, I think so. It's just inappropriate. It doesn't, it doesn't make <laughs> sense for him to be kissing a woman because he wouldn't do it to a man. It's just, it's just an antiquated way of approaching a woman. She's a professional woman. She doesn't need to be kissed on the cheek. She's not your sister or your wife or your cousin or someone else, your buddy's girlfriend. Mm-hmm. This is a professional woman who's interviewing you, and it kind of breaks down her credibility if, you, if she goes in for a handshake and you go in for a kiss. But how would it break down her credibility if she's the one who went in for a handshake and he's the one who kissed her? It doesn't That's what happened. Yeah. But it doesn't reflect badly on her. It doesn't break her I'm saying, credibility. I'm, well, I'm saying it, it ends up breaking her credibility in a way. But no, it, because she's it, the one no. who reached out her hand. Oh, no. She did the right thing. She's not yeah, in the wrong so at all. It, she doesn't break her credibility. No, but I think the credibility was broken in any case. It just, it just doesn't make men and women on an even playing field. And maybe they're not supposed to be on an even playing field. But I just mm. think I just think that if, if he kisses a woman before an interview or if he handshakes with a male journalist before the interview, it makes a different situation going into the interview. It makes a different atmosphere. Yeah, I'm just going back to the thing that you said you don't think that we should be on an even playing field. No, but I'm saying some people... Whoa, I'm pushing <laughs> on my foot. I'm, I'm saying that some people think that men and women aren't equal. It'll never happen. That's the theory that's out yeah, there You right said now. maybe we shouldn't be on an equal playing field. Right, that there should be different standards for different people. Like, you think? I, that not everything should be equal because we're not created equal. Why should everything be equal? Hmm. <laughs> Kim's giving me like the most glaring look. I'm not saying no, that we should No, I just... Be- I'm trying to understand. Like, you don't... Like I'm t- There's a difference between thinking equality will never happen and do you think that it should happen? Like if you take the simple of example of a woman can wear a skirt to the office, a man can't wear a skirt, it's not equal. So there are certain inequalities that should exist and there's some people that are saying, no, everyone should be able to do anything that the opposite sex should do completely equal. So I'm saying maybe we shouldn't be equal in everything. So maybe this is one of those things, uh, greeting someone, that we shouldn't be equal I mean, I mean, how do you feel? How do you feel about it? If you went to an interview right now and you went in for a handshake and the guy went in for a kiss, first of all, it never happened with another woman. I think even if the woman was attracted to you, which I'm not saying Obama is, yeah, attracted to Diane Sawyer, <laughs> but I'm saying even if she was attracted to you, I just think that women have more respect. It, it's not just they understand the handshake more than a man and a woman. He feel he felt like he had to lean in for a kiss. Yeah, it's it's weird. I don't know if I were to go in for an interview and I was kiss i think i would be taken aback a little bit how did she react oh she just like oh that was great and she just turned her cheek and they kissed and it was fine okay like he he went in for a side cheek and she accepted and it was just she laughed and it was whatever <laughs> there was no big deal people are making a big deal about it now yeah anyways this is just a distraction from the news which is <laughs> <laughs> obama is trying to be effective and he's not uh he said in the interview that he'd rather be an effective president for one term Mm. than be reelected and have two mediocre terms. Well, I think that's definitely a good way of seeing things. That's definitely a good way of seeing things, yeah, for sure. But has he really been effective is the question. And I was looking over some things that he hasn't been effective on. Uh, He never closed Guantanamo, which he promised to do. He's increasing troops to Afghanistan, and he's pushing the the exit date further back. He hasn't advanced gay rights, or he hasn't changed the don't ask, don't tell policy in the military. He's increased the federal debt by three times. And where the hell is health care going? <laughs> so honestly, what has he been doing? Things have been going so slow. And he, just uh, last week, he lost the, liberal, the liberals lost 
the Senate election in Massachusetts. I don't know. I think. Do you remember in December, Oprah ra- he Oprah asked him, "What do you rate yourself?" And he said a B plus. Mm-hmm. And I think that B plus is turning to like a C. Because what has he been doing? What's going on? Everything's taking so long, and now they're thinking about cutting out the public option in healthcare. He's his Massachusetts is the most liberal location, and they voted in a Republican who was kind of sleazy, and clearly voters aren't happy. Voters are giving sending a clear message, and Obama has a State of the Union. Tomorrow night, so you can watch him promise more things that he can't keep. Tomorrow at 9 p.m. So make sure to check that out. And he's proposing a spending freeze because, you know, he's been spending money right and left bailing out banks and uh, auto industries and whatnot. But what do you think? Do you think Obama's been doing a good job? I think the job of being president encompasses far more than we could possibly understand. So I know you're pointing out these issues, but, I mean, I'm sure he's done something right. How, how are so you much... so sure? Well, I'm. I don't. I don't follow it to the T. Like I'm not. I don't know the specifics too much of it. But I mean, there's only so much he can do. He he came into office and we were in already such a, a financial bad position. I don't know. He can't do all this so quickly. I think you're very tough on him. Do you not like I him? Think I think I. You know, I like him as a guy. I just don't know why he's trying to please everyone he's trying to be more centrist now by freezing the spending and it's like we voted you to bring change and i was watching a report yesterday and they were saying that the elderly folk who voted him in are losing faith the younger people on campuses are losing faith and the centrists are losing faith even though he's trying to appeal to them now so those are his three core people that he's pulled over because that's that's who he was targeting in the election he was targeting the the elderly people who felt disenfranchised from the gop and also, the youth that he promised change to. He promised so many things to the youth, the, the people on our campus, the people that are, that are in our building right now, he promised things to. Mm. I mean, we're in Canada, so maybe not us exactly, but... <laughs> well, there's Americans here. Anyway, but uh, <laughs> good for Diane Sawyer. She looks great on TV. I don't know if you saw the clip, but she looks, she looks good. They got Because I saw her on Good Morning America, just going back to a fluffier note. I saw her on Good Morning America, and the lighting there isn't as good. She, you know, she had some wrinkles going on and then you see her i don't know if she got some botox in between but i saw her on her abc news and she looked fine (laughs) there was not a line on her face she looked about 20 years younger and i was thinking maybe it's dark and they used excellent lighting (laughs) but she did not look the same as her morning shift when she hosted good morning america and speaking of morning hosts i started watching recently ctv's morning show canada Canada am and god is that the most awful thing in the world to watch in the morning it's just every morning i'm eating my cereal and i look up and i'm like i have to see this guy seamus he's the most miserable looking person and he speaks with such a way i spit up my cereal i can't i have to change the channel like i don't know how in the states they get such affectionate personalities that you enjoy watching them i I like meredith vieira i like matt lauer and joyce diane sawyer in the morning i think they're good (laughs) personalities to have in the morning and then you turn to the Canadian programming and it's just stiff. And I don't even know their weather guy. I don't know what his name is. It's this overweight guy from God knows Newfoundland or something. I don't know where they plucked him out of obscurity. He is the most loony guy. Today he was demonstrating a huge bubble on television and it just wasn't working. The bubble wasn't making. And he was like, oh, look at this bubble. And I said, don't report the weather. You know, Al Roker's annoying in the States, but you're just god awful get this man off the air and you know they have a newsreader and she's fine but the canadian <laughs> oh personalities i find are such trash why you are so harsh this morning <laughs> i'm bitter kim i am bitter <laughs> yeah, i can tell i just don't understand why they can't get good people come to our journalism school we have some nice personalities <laughs> we have some friendly faces we have me and you what's well maybe not me this morning yeah, and also you're friendly, not too friendly this, morning. this morning um what's wrong with uh canada am well, shamish yeah. Shame, first of all, Seamus has frosted tips. He, he means puts, highlight in his hair, by the way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, frosted tips has many meanings. And I'm sure for Seamus, it has a different meaning on a Saturday night anyways. <laughs> but he's ridiculous, and I think they should can him and the woman, whoever the woman sitting next to him is. They have this, especially when they deal with Haiti stories, they have this look of concern that you know is so trite and contrived. They're just, they're never funny. They're never endearing. <laughs> 